Hello, and welcome to this short presentation on computer architecture. We are surrounded by technology today, smartphones, smart TVs, PCs, laptops, tablets and more. Although they are very different devices, they all share the same basic architecture. This video is aimed at helping you to understand this computer technology and its architecture a little better. We said that all these smart devices share basically the same architecture. In essence they all are computers in one form or another. So what is this architecture? And what are the components that make up a computer system? A computer system consists basically of two elements in order to be able to operate. Hardware and software. Let's focus on hardware for now. Hardware comprises the physical components of a computer, and these can be split into two types. External, such as the screen, keyboard and mouse, and internal components like the processor, or CPU, memory and disk storage. So, let's now look at the second element of a computer system. Software. Software in turn has two elements, operating systems, and applications. Operating systems, like Microsoft Windows, Apple and Android, are what effectively drive the computer. Applications, on the other hand, perform specific tasks. Examples are Microsoft Office for Windows, and many, many mobile apps for Apple and Android phones. Let's summarize. The architecture of all devices like smartphones, TVs and computers is basically the same, and comprises hardware, and software. Hardware in turn is split into external, and internal. External hardware can be the display screen, keyboard or mouse, and internal hardware includes memory, storage and CPU. Bear in mind, in a mobile phone tablet or laptop, these are all built into the device. The second major component of a computer system is software, which in turn is split into two parts. The operating system, or OS, which in essence drives the computer, and tells the hardware what to do. And the second software component is the application, which performs a specific task or tasks. Examples are Facebook, YouTube and WhatsApp. Thank you very much for watching this short presentation and we hope it has helped you gain a little better understanding of the technology we use in our everyday lives today. Goodbye for now.